Are strictly doing or trying to strictly do ColourPop cosmetics. Got all of this stuff from Ulta. Wanted to kind of try it out. And this eyeshadow palette. Can we just take a moment? Like what? <laughs> but if you guys are interested in how I got this look, then keep on watching. I'm so excited for this video. Mainly for the eyeshadows, but I'm probably still gonna do my face first because it's more authentic. I would always do my face first. Even though there's probably gonna be a lot of fallout, I don't care. There's gonna be fallout, who cares? Fallout is whatever. If there's glitter all over my face, I don't care. Yes, glitter. If there's glitter on my face, I don't care. Cause I'm gonna be using this palette you guys, when I opened this, I died. Like, I'm in heaven now. Because this is probably the prettiest palette I've ever seen. Like, look at this. Oh my god. I can't wait to use it. For face, I'm gonna use the Pretty Fresh. This is all, so I tried to use all ColourPop products, but... There are a couple things that I have to like use for my own collection because they don't have like a bronzer that I could find and a setting spray. They do have a setting spray, but it was sold out. So I could not get that, but I did get the primer. So this is the primer. It's kind of liquidy. I prefer silicone based ones, but there's nothing I can do about it just my preference and my skin is not the best right now the foundation that I'm gonna be using this is the tinted moisturizer from the same collection which I don't mind using just moisturizers just because again I feel like I don't need too much coverage even though I have pimples everywhere it's fine I'm just gonna do three pumps right now because I know it's not gonna be a lot of coverage. I got all of this from Ulta and I ordered it like two weeks ago and it just came this week because we're in a pandemic, of course. Everyone knows this. So for some reason, it just. They emailed me like five times saying, Your order's coming, don't worry, don't freak out. And I'm like, you could have just emailed me once. Like, what's the point? I'm taking another pump. What's the point of emailing me like five times telling me my order is coming when I get that it's a delay, you know? But the good thing about it is I was able to use my discount at Ulta. So I would probably, I mean, I don't know what their website has like discount wise. So I think I'm gonna do one more pump. <laughs> Like five total. And you can probably just use this with your hands too. It's probably gonna come out with more coverage if you do that. But I just love my beauty blender so much. For bronzer slash contour, cream contour, I am using their concealer. If you can zoom, there we go in dark 135C. Now I've never used this as a contour before, so it looks like a, like an okay color, I guess. I thought like C would be like cool toned, you know? I think it is, it's just not the best for someone as pale as me, maybe. Someone was a little darker. I could probably get away with this. I 
And then for the concealer, I am taking two shades like I always do. Uh, for my face, I'm going to be taking light 40N and light 33C under my eyes. And I've actually used this concealer before. It's probably one of my favorites right now. Just because it's so inexpensive, but it's really, really good. And we're just gonna coat this on all of my blemishes. Because there's multiples. So how's everyone doing during quarantine? Um, I know some states are starting to open up again, which is amazing but i feel like it's a little too soon i just think they're doing it a little too soon you know like i feel like it's just gonna happen again and i hate to say that but like i feel like it is but um they just announced today that salons are gonna be reopening in ohio on may 15th and i'm super excited about it I need my lashes back and my lash tech also just did a new service. She learned it. It's called eyebrow lamination, which I'm intrigued about. So I might be doing that as well. So I'm, maybe I'll do like a video if I get it, those done. Do like a before and after. That'd be kind of cute. But I'm just taking my beauty blender to blend everything out. definitely warm for my skin tone i mean if you have maybe more of like an olive skin tone it might be good but i am very pink i don't know if you can notice but i'm very pink so to contour it makes more sense to get something that's very gray to kind of make it look more like of a shadow And then for the setting powder, I'm just gonna take my Huda Beauty setting powder and pound cake because they don't really have a setting powder, I've noticed. If anyone has ever used the KKW Beauty concealer, I feel like this is a really good dupe for it because it's really hydrating but like it covers a lot so if anyone is interested in maybe a comparison i could probably do that and my cat is behind me can you please stop sushi sushi stop yeah that's what happens when you have cats powder in my hair like videos before and then for powder bronzer I'm gonna take the winky Lux bronzer Let me get this open in the shade mocha for my contour I'm gonna be taking the Kat Von D or KBD, I don't know, I guess her name isn't on the brand anymore, but like, let's be real. Uh, powder, I think it's the lightest shade. Honestly, I don't even like her, but this shade is really good for me. Do you ever like feel a hair on your face but have no idea where it is? Um, for eyebrows, I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop, obviously, eyebrow pencil in black. I think this is black, soft black. I'm 
take the spoolie on the other end and just kind of blend that out. For the eyebrow gel, I'm gonna be using, again, the ColourPop Soft Black Eyebrow Gel. For the fun part, I was going to do blush first, but like I always do, but I thought it would be, it would make a little bit more sense if I did blush after I did this, so I can cover it up with whatever fallout that there is going to be, because I know there is going to be some. For the eye primer, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer, and I'm going to be taking this because it's really thick and it's almost like a concealer kind of. gonna blend that out with, with this like packer brush this is a sigma brush i got this brush set when i was probably still in high school and these brushes have lasted obviously like forever right here it's called golden gate bridge and i'm just gonna use this m504 morphe brush unfortunately this palette does not have a mirror which i don't really care about but i guess some people do and i'm just gonna use this as like a transition shade building that color up still just to make it a good consistency of what I want my cats are fighting in the back so if you see them that's what they're doing all right and then to kind of blend that out I'm going to be taking the first shade which is called matter of fact with a with a 518 brush from morphe i'm just gonna blend that out like to the brow bone and then to deepen up that crease i'm going to be taking pretty cruel which is down here and i'm using the morphe m330 brush And then to kind of blend this out, I'm going to be taking that same brush I used for the transition shade, but I'm going to be taking Poodle right there. As you can see, we're doing like a pink glitter look today. And then to blend that, I'm going to be taking that first shade again. And just kind of blend it. Blend, blend, blend. For all over the lid, I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna be taking this shade called Misty right there. I'm just gonna wet the brush a little bit with this. It really takes a lot to get color payoff from these shimmer shades for some reason. I really had to dig my brush in. Then I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue and just putting that in the center of my eyelid. And I'm just going to spread it out with this smudge brush from e.l.f. And then using that same e.l.f. brush, I'm going to be taking this shade right here called Indio. Just thick. She's thick. Oh my god. Guys, she's so thick. <sighs> Be 
really gentle with this because as soon as you dip your brush into that glitter shade, it like goes in, like it's very soft. True life, I'm obsessed with glitter. And then I'm just gonna take that darker shade again with that brush and put it kind of under my eye. I'm gonna take this shade Hungry Ghost right there and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. We're gonna see how that looks. So cute. Can we just can we just take a second and look at that beautiful amazing me... talented brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular never the same totally unique completely not ever been done before now we're gonna take the color pop volumized mascara it's a thicker brush i'll go back in after i put my lashes on for blush, I'm going to be taking the Between the Sheets Super Shock Cheek from Colourpop as well. I'm just going to take this brush. And then we're just going to blend that out. And then for lashes, I'm going to take these Sweetheart Lashes in the style Ashley. Alright, so that is the lashes with everything i love it i did add a little bit more glitter so you can kind of see it a little bit better but i'm obsessed and then i'm just going to take the same mascara and just kind of blend my lashes and i'm just going to spray my face with my urban decay setting spray and then for the highlight i'm going to be taking the super shock cheek and wisp with my morphe m510 brush To blend that out, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M530 brush. And then for lips, I'm going to be taking this So Juicy Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Beechwood. And again, this is Colourpop. I really like it. If you guys want me to do any other like one brand tutorials, just let me know. Put it down below. As you can see, I'm pretty consistently uploading right now, so just let me know and then I can get it and then I can do the tutorial. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.